Hey y'all, it's me. I'm back. Um, had to go downstairs and grab some batteries. But um, what the piece I just played on the other video was the Takata from the Sweet Gothique of Leon Belmont, who uh, was the organist at St. Vincent de Paul in Paris Church in the late 1800s. And it's a French romantic Takata. And the fingers in the right hand play all these kind of um, arpeggiated chords or chords that are broken um, and then the right hand just kind of bounces along or oh, the left hand bounces along and the feet play the main theme. I'm all in my grill. But anyway I want to show you guys how this works. Um, this is a pipe organ and a pipe organ is basically uh, the, for many, for many, uh, hundreds of years the two most difficult things to make were a watch and a pipe organ or a timepiece, a clock, a watch and a pipe organ. Um, each of these keyboards, this is a four manual organ, which the manuals are the keyboards. So we have one, two, three, four. And this organ was built in 1980 by a Canadian builder named Gabrielle Ney. Gabby Ney, one of my friends, um, Thomas Gonder, shout out to Thomas Gonder. Um, he calls him Gabby. Uh, Thomas is in Toronto. And a pipe organ, the way it works is there's pressurized wind coming from a blower. And that blower, we turn this switch right here and this key, and the blower uh, blows wind under pressure. Kind of like, you know, um, you know those little cans of compressed air that you can clean your computer keyboards with? That's how, uh, when you press that, that's wind under pressure. So the blower for a pipe organ works a lot like that. You turn it on and it blows wind under pressure. Um, and each of these keyboards is connected to a different division of pipes. And the main division on an organ uh, in this style is uh, the, or the main division on any organ is called the great division. And these particular stops right here, these little knobs, we call them stops. And we pull them out. And each one plays a different set or sets of pipes. And like I said uh, earlier, if like you, you you ever hear the term, oh my gosh, you know she really pulled out all the stops for that party. It refers to the organ because uh, if I were to sit here and pull out all the stops, or just to make this easier, let me set. I have one of these pistons set where all the stops come on. Uh, I, I'm playing with pretty much all the power the organ has. Actually, that's not even all the power. If I pull out all the stops on this organ, you hear the bells? We got some bells. Um, if I pull out all the stops, this is all the stops. So, a very big sound. Um, the main division, like I said, is called the grate. And you see these little numbers like here? You see like a 16, an 8, a 4, you see octave 4. Those numbers, the largest pipe on that row of pipes is 16 feet long. 8 feet long, 8 feet long, 4 feet long, 4 feet long, 2 feet long eight feet long. That means that the largest number, like I say, uh, the very largest pipes on the organ, like here we have on the pedal board uh, a, a 32, and that's called a Bombard 32, and the, so, and this is the sound here. And so we use that at the end of these big dramatic pieces to give a, 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 a really gravitating, uh, like literally, a little out of tune today um, and I'm playing that with my feet um, then we have another 32 foot here that's kind of a, a um, almost like a, a, a giant huff 
so to speak. Um, and then 16 foot, that's actually the 16 foot principle right here. So all those numbers like trumpet 8, bassoon 16, that means that the largest pipe in that row of pipes is that many feet long. Um, let's say another thing I can do is like let's say I've got I'm pulling out some some stops on the great division see this here says swell to great this keyboard right here the third from the bottom most keyboard is called the swell and it's called the swell because this right here is kinda dark but you see these shutters right here kind of like Venetian blinds there's a pedal on here that I'm operating and this is called a swell box because it's enclosed in this um, box basically and that like I say it's called the swell and literally when I open this pedal this black pedal right here this black one that I've got my foot on when I open this when I open the box it literally swells the sound like this like this right here so I've got it closed now but if I open it if I open it the sound swells as I open it and it'll it'll actually soften as I close it So it allows us to control how loud or how soft we want the organ. I can close it all the way. I can open it all the way. I can close it part of the way. So and I have different different levels of, of loudness with it, so to speak. Um, and all these knobs right here control the swell. Um, then this set of pipes behind me here on this organ is called a positive or a positive division. It's called a rook positive and rook is German for back and so it's because it's literally behind me it's at my back. Um, these right here on this particular pipe organ play the rook positive stops and it's got a lot of real bright pretty sounds on it. And so that's where we get all the little cutesy little organy sounds on from. Um, the pedal board plays the bass notes. And if I pull out a nice big strong pedal sound, um, let's say like if I were to start like there's a big Bach work, there's a lot of big Bach works that we play for the organ that have a lot of pedal sound to them. And I can actually play with my feet a melody line, like that's uh, the Bach D major prelude and fugue. Like this is the, uh, so if I sit here and I can just start those off on the pedal, and then there's another Bach work that has a lot of pedal in it. Um, and we can do, like I can say, I can take my pedals and I can do this right here. Uh, something like that. Anyway, um, I can't remember that that's the F major or something. But you get the idea of what the pedals do. Um, they play the bass notes. That's a little bit loud anyway. That's just that's just me playing with my feet, no hands. Um, and then there's uh, some some of the very most uh, challenging pieces of organ music um, have uh, virtuosic pedal parts in them. Uh, just uh, um. Uh, so you just go along in octaves in the key of C sharp minor. That's just me pl playing around. Like I said, if you got a doctor from Eastman, I'm just playing around showing my friends on YouTube the organ. So please, oh gosh, she's so horrible. I'm just showing people the organ, okay? Because organists, as Leonard Raver said, the organ world is the worst world in the world because organists get so critical of each other. And that's kind of why I just don't even get involved with it. Um, because I just, I just want to play the organ for regular people. 
Um, so that's what the pedals do. They play the bass notes. Um, and I can bring everything to the pedal and give a real big loud sound if I want to. Um, and I can do that just with my feet. Um, there's some little knobs on here that like this says great to pedal, positive to pedal, um, positive to great, swell to great. I can couple keyboards together with those. Like let's say you see there's nothing on, on the on this keyboard right here. But if I pull on like this swell to great and then this a coupler assist and I pull out some sounds from this keyboard, see I've got sounds on, on this keyboard but I don't have anything on on this keyboard. Nothing's pulled out except that little swell to great and that little great coupler. Watch this. So I've got this keyboard coupled to this keyboard down here. So I've got the same sound. I've got, but I have nothing over here, and that's called a coupler. And then the coupler is you can help you to louden, like, um, let's say I can go up here, um, and then I can pull something on here. And so that's what you do. You and a lot of times, especially in music that's been written since 1850, what they call romantic music and 20th century music, we use the couplers a lot, and we use a swell a lot too. That box up here, that division right there, uh, a lot of times in uh, uh, anything written since 1850, you're going to use a lot of the swell box that I showed you and a lot of pedal. Um, okay, let me show you some of the pipes. Um, one of the things that I like about being here is that, oops, if I don't fall, is that the organ is completely in the room. It's all freestanding, like these big pedal pipes here. Um, you can see all back in there. It's going to be a little dark. Um, see if I can turn the light on. I can't find the light. But you see pipes back here. Uh, there's the ladder to get to the top of the organ. And let me see, let me see, maybe, and you can see even all back here, behind we've got pipes. And this is like the main entrance into the case. Oh, here we go. Some of them open here. Uh, looks like Michael Quimby, our organ technician, has probably been here. So you see, this is when you, you see, it's a lot more than, uh, more than meets the eye. And here's some of our big bass sounds that we have all these pipes against the wall are the big bass pipes. Um... You notice in that piece I was playing that here's the cathedral and what's kind of unique about us is as an Episcopal Cathedral our organ and the choir are in the back. A lot of times uh, the organ and choir are up front um, uh, but not here and actually we still process uh, here at the cathedral. Uh, we process and everything which means the choir comes in and then comes the, does this kind of figure eight thing and whirls around. Um, when I was getting louder in the piece, you see these buttons here? Um, I can press these buttons and watch. See? I'm pressing the buttons and that changes the sound. See as I do this like they're numbered one through eight. And these are called combination pistons. And I, I can preset these to have any sound I want to on the organ. And, uh, and it allows me when I'm playing pieces like the Wellmon, like when I'm doing this, um, let's see if I'm doing this. What those buttons do is they allow me to change, a add a bunch of sounds or take away a bunch of sounds. I can add a bunch of sounds or take away. If I go backward, I can take away. Like I can go eight, seven, six, five.